I'm here to present a Lifetime Achievement Award. Um, and this person, you probably actually, I was thinking oh, we could make it like, you know, a mystery, but it's printed in the programme, so you know who it is. <laughs> but this person has been mentioned a lot already tonight. Um, and so I think that shows how, what an influential person he is. Uh, I was just involved in a book uh, called Singing from the Floor, which is like a history of folk clubs in the UK. And uh, this is all told in the voices of the people who were part of it. And his is the first voice. So he's, that shows you, you know, people, they bandy those words around, don't they? You know, pivotal, legendary, all that. They get used a bit too often, but I think we can say this person is a pivotal a legendary person. Now, I also know that you'll probably be embarrassed to, call, to be called that. That's the other aspect that makes somebody uh, a true legend. Uh, they don't let you know about it. You know, they're not going, I'm legendary me. <laughs> I'm fantastic. Um, I can say his name, can't I? Martin Carthy, right? <laughs> Will be familiar to all of you here. I've, I've had the pleasure of working with him quite recently. Back in October, I was involved in a thing, uh, Bright Phoebus, it was called. I was very nervous about it. Approaching a legendary folk album, what the hell are they having me on the stage? They're involved with that. And I got to view Mr. Carthy's working methods up close and how he makes you feel um, safe and welcome. And I'm sure that many, many people in the folk world have, have benefited from his um, a guiding hand, you know, but it's not applied like that. So I know there's a lot of people in this building, but I think you need a bit of exercise. I think what I'd like you to do is could you pray all be upstanding for Mr. Martin Carthur. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm actually really very, very happy to, to, to have, this, have this happen. It's fabulous. And it also gives me a chance to wear this shirt. I'm really... <laughs> thank you very much. Um, I mean, I've, it's, it's been quite a long time, but I've had, I had a lot of great teachers on the way, and it's amazing how many of them were fiddlers. Um, I mean, there was uh, Dave Swarbrick, there was Peter Knight, and there was Eliza. And they've got one thing in common, and that is that they're all bonkers. Um, <laughs> and, and there's nothing like playing next to somebody who's completely bonkers, because you, you've got to just keep up and have a good time. It's a, it's a great learning experience. I mean, uh, just to, to, to play with some of the people I've had a chance to play with, like this gent, has been absolutely wonderful because they just reveal more of a song than perhaps you knew was there it's extraordinary um i had quite late on in in, in musical life I, I think i came to be much closer to the watersons for obvious reasons i married uh, i married norma and she is probably the best teacher of the lot and she's sitting at home now uh, <laughs> watching this on Red Button and throwing things at the, at the television. I know she is. Oh, shut up, she's saying. <laughs> hey, are, Norma. That's for you. Thank you very much indeed. I'm, so, I'm, I'm, very, I'm a very happy man. Thank you. Thank you.